just a heads up, my man Ray, today, taught us all about fashion and medicine balls. I'm Joe, True Warrior Ascension. This is my buddy Ray. What up? Ray, Ray's an awesome dude. Ray is a stylist. He's a choreographer. He is a dancer, a professional dancer here in Tampa. He does many, many, many things. And you're probably wondering why Ray is here today with us. Um, one of my biggest things that I talk to and uh, I guess preach about with my members is that you have to love yourself now. Obviously, you want to progress, and we all want to get better in some ways, but you have to love who you are and what you're about right now, and I think Ray, being a stylist, can give us a few tips today on how we can dress to feel more confident in ourselves right now, and you just to have that presence. I mean, I know you've seen people who just walk around, they just have a presence about them, and obviously, again, we're going to work towards getting better, but today... Today, we need to feel and love ourselves in all ways, not just in fitness, but just how we carry ourselves. Yeah, so, Ray, I absolutely. wanted to thank you for coming on. Yeah. Um, first and foremost, can you just give him like the, the, I gave him a little spiel about you, but tell him about yourself a little bit. Give him a little rundown. Yes, please. So, um, dancer, choreographer, creator, mm. um, once Olympic hopeful. Yes. For 2016, yes, yes, it yes. out the way we wanted it to, but it's all good. Um, and so, who are who are some of the people? Maybe not some of the people, but in what genres or areas are some of the people that you have styled in the past? Uh, I've done some uh, Broadway stars. I've done some uh, people in music, people in movies. Uh, pro athletes? That did, did I? Did I yeah, athletes. I'm gonna say I definitely caught that. A couple for athletes, so a wide array, a wide client base. Okay, all growing right. Growing every day. So. And then I, I, I can't let him forget because it's probably one of the coolest things that I, I mean, I know this dude, right? I know him. Um, what about Odd Socks? Odd Socks was a thing. Odd Socks was a, um, was working with them and did a couple of their um, shoots for some new socks that were coming out. And they, and they were insane. I love the photos. I mean, the socks were dope. Yeah. Like. I had never experienced like that process because you kind of explained it and I mean you could tell that there was so much thought because legitimately you would look at the socks and like everything else kind of went with it That's and the they point. but they popped they like yeah. killed that was real real dope yeah. so a lot again a lot of my clients they want to get to that point they want to get to that level where like man I feel great I look great now I'm gonna get some new clothes what about now so if I have a guy um, let's say he's a little heavier set he's got he's got like a, a broad upper like shoulder chest area but also you know he's getting a little flabby feeling like he's putting on extra pounds yeah uh, what well, they call it the dad bod but we're taking that back <laughs> right look out for it we're taking back the dad bod but what do we do for that boxy look guy like how can he dress yeah. to feel more confident and also look just pre not pre i don't want to say presentable but look the part i guess yeah so this guy wants to, um, there's different fits for shirts and stuff. Okay. Um, so he wants to look for a relaxed fit shirt. Relaxed fit? Yeah, so not like what you have on right now. Okay. But just something that's a little bit looser. Okay. Because his frame is a little bit more boxy, so he doesn't want to accentuate that. Relaxed fit shirts. Relaxed fit shirts. Relaxed fit shirts. Yeah. So now that same dude, does the pants even come into play? The like, pants, it really, it really won't matter because his proportions are going to be so even that. Uh, so he can get straight cut, boot he can get cut, straight cut, boot cut, like whatever, whatever cut. he's feeling that day. You wake up, you can do See, it. See, I can't do that because I'm short. I mean, so shout out to the boxy guy getting to do whatever he wants with his pants. Listen. So relax with shirts, and then okay. Yeah. Now let's take that same dude and let's say not so broad up here yeah but maybe just starting to round out he's getting that spare tire yeah absolutely action going on yeah so for him he wants to stay away from anything fitted because it's going to hug him up here but it's also going to hug him here okay so, so nothing fitted nothing fitted got because you. he doesn't want to accentuate this got you so nothing fitted nothing tailored this guy is going to be the relaxed fit guy as well what so everyone's relaxed fit 
I mean, <laughs> everyone's not relaxed. Everyone's, fit. everyone's relaxing right now. Everyone's not relaxed fit, but, but it those can two. work. It can but work for those two. And that, and again, we're just so with those two people, we're just yeah. trying to trying to. I guess we're not trying to. We're not, we're trying, not trying to add to anything, but take away. Anything, but like, take away a couple of things. Okay, so I, this is something that might be helpful. What is something? So they both had their relaxed fit shirts on. Yeah. What is something that maybe they could add? Yes. That could like again, maybe Step not distract, it. but like Step it up. pop out a little bit. Yeah. So this guy wants to focus on adding um, a loose top layer. A so loose top layer. A loose top layer. So I'm uh, okay. It'll be like um, the days that we have here in Florida, where it's uh, cooler in the morning. Okay. And hotter in the afternoon, like it is right now. Yeah, in yeah. December, it's like 75, 78. Degrees. I'm not complaining. This dude's like, oh, it's too hot. Like it's, it's hot. the first day of We're winter. Outside, drinking a warm We're drink. in Florida. <laughs> this is beautiful. First okay. day of winter. So loose top layer. Is loose. that like a cardigan? So it's not a cardigan, but think of like a, think of like a denim shirt and a relaxed fit shirt under. Denim shirts are in. Denim shirts are always in. Really? Yeah. A denim shirt and then what was the other one? Denim shirt with your relaxed fit top underneath. So like a relaxed fit crew neck or v-neck with a light denim shirt over the top. I'm not going to lie. I definitely would be looking at a guy's denim shirt and not his belly because I didn't know Listen. denim shirts. But I'm not saying that I'm the... That's why you're here. Yeah. Because I'm not that's telling why them... Me. That's why you That's why me. he's here. That makes, he that makes perfect sense. I'm here to okay. give you the tips. So for those, those dudes, that guy can pop. Yes. Now let's switch it over to the ladies. Yes. Right? I see a lot... Uh, so... Same thing for the same lady fit. If you could, maybe like a shirt and a dress for someone who has that, again, that boxy, like rectangular yeah. feel. Yeah. Spare tire, and then she's, you know, gifted. Absolutely. So this lady also wants to stay away from anything that's too fitted. Too fitted. Yes. Okay. Because Makes sense. Because, once again, we don't want to accentuate things that someone may not want to accentuate just yet. They're not where they want to be with their fitness goals, but they're working on it. We all are. Still, everybody. Yeah, yeah. Everybody, daily. So okay. you don't want to accentuate it, but you also still want to look good. So for, let's do the lady that has a little bit more up top. Okay. She has a little bit more up top. She wants to stay away from the V-neck. V-neck? Yeah. She no V-neck. No V-neck. Yeah, she has it. It's going to be apparent in everything. Got you. It's going to be apparent So unless in she's trying to show them unless off. Unless she's trying to, I mean, live avoid your life. it. Yeah. Got but you. if you're just trying to, you know, live, you're just trying to go to work, go out, not catch anybody. You want to stay in a, you want to stay in a crew, in a crew neck. Crew neck. Crew neck. So not like this, like this. Not like this, but like this. This is the idea. So Maybe a little bit lower. Lower for, for the females. For the females. Okay. Cool, cool. And then, again, we're not going fitted, but like, aren't most dresses fitted or am I off of that? Most dresses are fitted, but... There's different levels of fitted. Okay. So we have this thing now on Instagram. We have Instagram boutiques. Fashion Nova dresses are super fitted. Like they look like they're painted on. Okay. That's that's too tight. Fashion Nova dresses. Fashion Nova dresses. Okay. I'll have to check that out. Yeah, check For it out. For me. Because yeah. I mean like I'm looking. Research. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the fitted but, dress. <laughs> yeah. But that's not what you want. That's too fitted. That's too fitted. That's too fitted. So could you give them an Instagram suggestion if you have one? Just in the hip. In the hip. That might be a good look for that. Or a store. Does that or be an Instagram place, but a you store where they can find a dress? Look at New York and Company. New York and Company can be found in every mall. They're always on trend. They're always uh, nicely cut garments. They just did a collection with Gabrielle Union, whom mm. I love. Like Shout out to D. Wade and Gabrielle listen, Union. They're like... Killing it. So... Mm. That's a store that has, they're always gonna have a great collection. You're never gonna look, um, you're always gonna look how you wanna look. You're gonna look good, the clothes are gonna fit well, and that's it. That's it. Yeah. So, New York and Company for the, for dresses. New York and Company for everything. For everything. New York and Company for everything. All right, so let's yeah. transition then. So we talked about like, hey, I'm a little gifted up here and got a little, uh, the spare tire. Yeah. What if I'm not as, uh, you know gifted or I mean I just I'm not as heavy up top, but I do have the the spare tire yeah. Same idea or are we going with a different vibe a little bit of the same idea this lady can go a little bit tighter tighter she can Fashion go a little boutique bit tighter. or not that not, for, not yet not, okay. yet not yet so she can actually You know explore into some v-necks. Okay, because there's not there's not gonna be a risk of any anything coming out of the v-neck um, because of what she has but this lady will look into like um, 
there's these shirts called peplum. Peplum? Yeah, so they're tighter at the top, and then they flare out, it looks like the petal of a flower uh. at the bottom. So it's not something that's gonna hug the midsection, but it's something that is going to um, accentuate it in the right way. Now hold on, now you're the stylist. Are you telling women to accentuate the flower? You said that. I <laughs> <laughs> I'm Let joking. The record show. I'm joking. He said that. I'm. I it's just was interpreting <laughs> what he said because I, I would not say that. I said it's shaped <laughs> like the petal of the flower. I'm joking. It's 2018. I, we got to choose our words carefully. You're right. Okay? Very, very, very much. Very shown. carefully. So very, very much. Shown. That's what. That's what would be safe for this lady to do. And it's called petulum. Peplum. Peplum. P e p l u m. P e p l u m. All the ladies know what I'm talking about. Um, okay. Not. So you already know. So check it out. <laughs> Uh, if you if you have that shape, done deal. Okay, so we we have a couple bodies. So actually, let's say someone is fit now. Like yeah. I'm, I'm fit. Uh, you know, maybe uh, that, I guess they call it like the triangle or that that V, yeah. where like I have upper uh, a bigger upper body, a tapered, tapered waist. Yeah. What what's this guy? So or this girl, guy, or girl. Both of them. We're gonna do both of them. We're yeah, yeah. Both of them. So done deal. The inverted triangle for the guy. He's going to look for uh, shirts that are not relaxed fit. That are slim fit. Slim fit. Slim fit. Yes. Yeah, am I a fit. slim fit guy or am I You're something a slim else? fit guy? Okay. You're a slim fit guy. All right. And that reason is because those shirts are made to come in at the waist. Got you. Yeah, yeah. So they're going to be a wider, wider at the top for the shoulders and the chest. Okay. And then they're going to taper in on the sides to accentuate that slim triangle. Slim fit. Okay. Slim fit. Major key. Shout out to DJ Khaled. Target has stepped their game up in a significant way. Yeah, I low-key get a lot of my V-necks. Like, I won't say like it's Moreno or... They have Moreno, but they also have this new brand called Goodfellow. Goodfellow. And it's everywhere in the store. I just picked up a Goodfellow shirt that I wore to a Christmas party last night. Okay. Slim fit shirt was $12.99. Plaid shirt. Everybody was like, twelve ninety nine. Twelve ninety nine. Now you're speaking my language, exactly. right? Exactly. You already know. You already know. So everybody was like, "Yo, where'd you get the shirt from? Where'd you get the shirt from?" I said, "Target." They were like, "No way." You're Not right. a shot. Like, and it's no good way. fellow. Good fellow. Great brand. Slim fit shirt for the guy. That guy can also, depending on what day, what day it is, how he feels, what his clothes confidence is feeling like, he can wear a relaxed fit jean, a skinny jean, a painted I can't really on get jean. Down. I, oh, so. This is actually a really good one for the girls as well, and, and I'm, I'm sorry to like cut you off because no, it no. always jacks me up. So like, I can't, I definitely can't rock a skinny jean. Who says you can't? I, I, I can't, and I'll tell you why. I can't rock a skinny jean. I, I find it tough, and I know a lot of girls talk about it, but yo, there's guys out there who got the cake. Like, Listen. what, so my, my thighs aren't massive, Yeah. but like, you know, like. They're bigger. No, I'm saying my, my thighs aren't massive, but like my, my butt is, you know, it's, yeah. it's a little big. Yeah. Right? So. Skinny jeans don't work for me because the skinny to butt ratio is way, like, I'm not just, like, I'm literally not even, I'm fighting to get these things. I mean, it's ridiculous. Um, so, I have tried, but, like, what's listen. a good jean for a guy or a girl who have decent thighs, but, like, bigger butts, like, yeah. you know, squat booty. Yeah. But not, like, Ask mass. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's a so, good look for guy and girl? I'm sorry to cut you off, but, like, that just came up, and I need that info. You need that info. I'm being selfish. I apologize. We'll get so back the to first, the first thing is you can do skinny jeans, and I'm going to tell you how you can do it. All right. I'm going to tell you how you can do All it. All right. This is a proven method, okay? Um, you find the skinny jean that you want. Okay. You go up a size or two. And then get them tailored. And then get them tailored. Of course, this guy was going to say something like that. Listen, I'm not paying for no tailor fee. Listen, no, I get it. I get listen, it. I get it. You go up a size or two, and then you get them tailored because they're going to fit where they need to fit immediately. And then you just go to the tailor and say, hey, take this in. Mm. Okay. Like, that's simple. And it's going to be $10. Like, okay. I got you. Who I can, got you. Like, if you're going to wear the life cycle of jeans are usually, if they're good jeans, a couple of years. And this is for guys and girls. Guys and girls. So buy the skinny jean. Buy the skinny jean. Just get it tailored. Get it up. Go up a size or two so it can fit where it needs to fit immediately gotcha. in the dressing room. And then you say, okay, I'm going to go to my tailor and get the legs taken in. I don't have a tailor. You got to find a tailor. Really? You got to find a tailor. So 
we'll get back to, don't think I forgot, I have not forgotten about the guy who's in shape and he was talking about the, the jeans and the good fella and all that stuff. We're going to well, come we back to him. We we're covered gonna, him. Okay. We covered him. He's Perfect. Set. All right, He's good, set. good. So we're done with that guy. Yeah, we're, we're done, done with him. Guy. But what do I need to look for? You know what? We'll go on to the girl and I'll come back. I'll remember okay. it. But so, so a girl who's fit, I'm not going to forget. A girl who is fit. Yeah. You know, you know. However you want to describe that, right? So yeah. there's a couple of different versions, but like a girl who f who's fit. We're gonna do the same. Thing. And she's not. I mean, because I'm, I very rare. Like you see me in non-gym clothes. It literally it's for this. Like she's not wearing gym clothes that day. What can she rock out to on a Friday night or even to work? Yeah. Like what are we rocking? So she's rocking much along the same thing that the guy is rocking. Okay. Her shirt or blouse is going to be tailored to come in on the side. What's the difference between a shirt and blouse? Shirt and a blouse. Uh, basically, a shirt has buttons. A blouse doesn't. Huh. Okay. All right. So she's wearing a shirt and a blouse. She's wearing a shirt and a blouse, and it's, she's gonna look for the same tailored kind of fit. For the women, it's gonna say tailored fit, because theirs is always fancier than us. Of course. We're slim fit. There's this tailored fit. Um, I love how their numbers are completely like just random. Oh no, it'll mess you it's, up. It's a one. No, no you're no, you're not. zero. You're zero. There's no fabric there. Or you're a double zero. What? You know. can't be a double zero. Double zero. It double exists. Double zero. Double zero. Like if I was a girl, I'm like, I, I'm, I want the Arena Gilbert, please. The what? <laughs> Get out of here. No. Get out of here. Double zero. It exists. So she's going to look for that exact same thing for uh, shirts that come in that are tailored closer to the body. Okay. Because they're going to have, they're going to have wider shoulders, wider chest because they've been working out, they've been hitting the gym and their waists are going to come in. It's going to be taped. It's going to be tapered. It's going to be a tapered look. Same thing for the uh, same thing for the pants for the jeans. It's gonna be whatever they're feeling that day. You can do a relaxed fit. The boyfriend jeans are huge right now. Um, stay away from my jeans. <laughs> listen, stay away from my jeans and hoodies. Yeah, oh my done. God, stay away from my hoodies. We're done with just that. don't leave. Just don't leave. We're without done with me. that. But yeah. Boyfriend jeans are in. Dope. Uh, Slim, skinny jeans. Are there jeans. different, because I don't know anything about the shorts. For girls, are there different shorts there's levels? A, there's different short levels. Um, there's right above the knee. There is mid-thigh. So that is going to be real important when you start to get into shorts that are cut higher, that stop higher on the leg. You definitely don't want to end up with uh, a crease in your thigh because the leg of your shorts are too tight. So if you okay. need to, definitely go up a size, grab a belt, put the belt on so that everything fits in there perfectly. Am I the only one? And then maybe maybe this is a fashion thing, like, are pockets supposed to be longer than the shorts? Pockets are not supposed to be longer. Because I've seen that. But you will see that when shorts are distressed. And so like, even wearing them too long. Not, I mean, distressed being that they bought them distressed. Oh, okay. Like with the holes and like They know what that, that means. They know what that means. I don't. I don't know what that means. Okay. Like, they're stressed like this, but in a short. Okay. And you can buy it pre distressed. You can buy it pre distressed. Gotcha. Or you can distress So it looks them like yourself. you've had it for a long time. So it looks like you had it for a long time. And Your then the pockets are longer. Like, How much did you pay for those? Like, you could have done that yourself. Gotcha. Like, Shout out to Ava, who's probably going to not watch this in 10 years. You're not wearing distressed jeans because the pockets are longer than the shorts. And that's just not going to happen. I'm sure it will now because I said that. Love you, babe. It'll happen. All right. So I didn't forget. Yeah. Now we're gonna go to something else. Um, so one more thing for the guys because I've seen like I have good buddies. I mean like who are fitness guys. Um, shout out to Soul Boss. He's definitely one of these dudes. Massive arms. Yeah. Huge. Right. Massive arms, but the waist is thin. Yeah. So you you want something that isn't baby gap in the arms. Yeah. But isn't like literally f like swimming. Sound like the the petlum thing Pepper. where it's like yeah. it's. Going swimming. all over yeah, the place. All over the place. What does that guy do? And if you say so, Taylor, I'm not going with it. We're getting something else. Give me something else, Ray. Listen, it's so important. Like, I'm just gonna say this. Tailoring is so important. Gotcha. Like, if it doesn't. So he fit, has to get something that fits his arms and tailor. Like, you just have to find the size that's gonna fit your arms because that's what you need in the store. Shout out to dudes with arms that gonna, big. Like, um, if you have arms that big, like, I commend you. Like, that takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of dedication. True. But. To dress the way you want to, you're gonna have to find something that fits those arms, mm. and you're gonna have to get it tailored. Like you just have to. Just has you to have happen. To. There's no way. There's no way around it. Big arm probs. Big arm Hashtag probs. Like, big arm probs. If you want it to look, if you want it to look good, you're gonna have to get it tailored. Don't deal. You have to. It makes sense. It makes sense. And it's as simple as as simple as going to your like 
Hey guys. How are you? You guys are adorable. <laughs> it's as simple as going to your dry cleaner and saying, I need you to dart, D-A-R-T, the back of the shirt. What's a dart? Dart is just a simple stitch that they put in the back. They literally take the shirt in and they will probably have you try it on. If the cleaners is good, they'll have you try it on and say, how far do you want it to come in? Got you. And they'll say, okay, this is a two inch dart. Boom. You can take all your shirts in and be like, clean it, put a two inch dart in. You're all set. All your shirts in. So look at that beautiful transition. I should put like, like transition-y <laughs> stuff in there. Transition. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how do we find, yeah. like what makes a good tailor? What should I be looking for from my, cause uh, is it like a barber? Like, it's like a, it's I don't like know a, about you, but like, like I barber. can't, it is I tough to cheat on my barber. I can't cheat on my barber. I won't. I won't Cannot. I've been burned I, way too many times. So this is, today's the 21st. My barber's actually going away all next week. I had to get a cut yesterday because and legitimately yeah. had to ask him. I was like, yo, like, I know you're going next week. I'm going to need a haircut because my mama's in town and she don't play that. Still, he's grown. Which one of the guys, which one of the to? guys can I go to? Like, who can who I go trust? to? So it's like a barber. And if the shop is good, side note, if the shop is good, all the barbers should be good. Like, that's not even it for me. It's just because it's my dude. Yeah. Like, that's that's my dude. Like, so I need to know he's okay with it. Like, like I know you're going to be gone for the holidays. Are you okay with this? Hands down. And, and I go to, um, so I'm down at Sheer Perfection down in Cyprus. Okay. And, and all the dudes, I mean, all the milia, like, all those dudes are great. Crazy. Like, yeah. people come out the chair but and they're always me stopped. And my guy. And, but for me and my guy, like, I have to make sure, <laughs> shout out to Chato, Is like, it okay? I have to make sure he's okay with it. Yeah. So it's like a tailor. You don't want no problem. How do I, uh, it's like a barber. How do I find like my barber. tailor? You got to do your research. Just like you do with the barbershop. If you're, like, let's say you move to a new city. All right. You see you're at the gym. You're like, yo, that guy's haircut is everything. Mm -hmm. Like, looks good. It's crispy. It's fresh. Where you get your haircut at? It's as simple as that. You see a guy that's out. His shirt fits really well. Hey, where'd you get that shirt from? Oh, I got it from here, and it's tailored. Where'd you go? Like, I, apparently, I don't dress stylish. No one's ever asked me, like, yo, where you get that shirt from? Not once. Listen, but he's grown. You guys don't realize, like, when I first met Damn. this guy, like, Damn. it was literally all gym clothes all, all gym day, clothes all and never time. matched. I mean, never match. Never. And when I told this guy that I always match when I go to the every, gym, every his day. mind was blown. Like, every day, like to the gym? Yes. All my gym clothes match. I have gotten better, and I definitely understand the value of it. And honestly, for me, and a, a big part of the reason why we did this video is because, like, I genuinely feel better about myself sometimes. Like you some do. days, I'm like, yo, like this is, and then like you, you put on, you feel like, hey, Listen, and hey. it's all about, like I said earlier that close confidence. When you wake up in the morning, close confidence. you have to have is that, that close is? confidence. We just coined that. Mm, close close confidence. confidence. Boom. It's done. Transition. <laughs> so what, okay, so we can ask other people, but like in a tailor, is there like special, like, like for instance, my barber. Yeah. He like, the ed me, for me, because I'm getting a little old, you might not be able to see it. Like my edge is like fading, right? Yeah. So I know he can, he can hook that up. I need someone who is like fresh with the edge and he's fast. Yeah. So with the tailor, is there certain aspects of a tailor that make him go? Uh, if you don't have someone that has gone to this specific tailor, gotcha. you're going to have to give them a short like test drive. So try out like maybe a cheap shirt. Try out maybe a cheap shirt or a shirt that you really don't wear that often, but you want to see how the work is. Okay. You have to try, you, this is a trial and error basis, and that's going to be really big. Um, you just have to give it a try. Okay. You just have to give it a try. Just have to give it a shot. Yeah, I think this is about to end. It is about to end, over. but we're going to start over. Yeah. It's fine. And when it ends, we'll get it rocking. Yeah. Without doubt. So we got the tailor. We got the tailor. Um, we talked about the clothes, and I really appreciate that. Uh, actually, hold on. We're going to stop real quick. Should be able to get right back there into it. Bang, bang. Okay. So we've talked about a few different things, right? We've, we've talked about different styles and types and places and, and ways to make it feel good. Yeah. What are, and, and I, I think, I mean, this is super, super important because I think, yes, the clothes can definitely make you feel good. Yeah. But like, what are some other things? Like I know for me, posture, like when I see someone just even just in the gym, I mean, that's a huge thing. Posture, position, form. You don't realize like I go to the gym and I have to refrain from like helping. People. Exactly. So just in everyday world. So we're out of the gym. We're wearing our clothes. Yeah. Like, 
how big of a role does that play into how it looks? Posture plays a huge role into how really? you look. Like, really? Really? A garment on me and you is going to look completely different if my shoulders are hunched over and yours are back. Got you. Oh, hey. It changes the way everything sits up. It changes the way your body composition goes. Okay. So if you have on a shirt that Hold on, fits I'm gonna get you, you do okay, I'm gonna let, let you show them. Go ahead. If you have on a shirt that fits you, everything is fitting well. Good. And you're hunched over, it doesn't fit now. It doesn't fit. But as soon as my shoulders go back, oh wow, everything else comes up. Gotcha. It's completely changed. So if I'm wearing a fitted shirt and I'm slugged, it almost looks like relaxed. It almost looks like it doesn't fit. It looks like a relaxed fit shirt. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. So what's the point of wearing a slim fit gotcha. shirt so if your posture is not where it needs to be? Roll. Okay. So what are some other then? Whoop. What? Sorry, uh, my cameraman JD <laughs> actually filmed, filmed something for us before, but the what, audio quality was crappy. We dropped the ball on location. It was we my fault, JD, not yours, and I really appreciate that. So I definitely want to give JD. That video, JD, was everything. Everything, everything. but the audio, the audio wasn't. Was so thank you, JD. Um, but. What else besides posture, besides just posture, what are some keys that we should be paying attention to to make sure that the fit is right? Yeah, so once you've chosen your clothes, you've gone shopping, you really have done the hard part. Okay. Like, all you have to do is wake up in the morning and have that confidence. Mm. Like, the confidence is gonna be everything. All right. Besides your posture, the only other thing really is your confidence and how you feel that day. What people don't understand is fashion is so based on your feeling, how you're feeling that day, that you can't, like, I can't wear, I wake up sometimes and I go to my closet and I'm like, yo, you can't wear that today. Like, really? you just, you don't have the confidence level today to pull this Really? Out. Yeah. See, I don't, maybe my clothes, my, my, my clothes ain't speaking to me like that. <laughs> I don't have those kind of clothes that like, you can't wear me today. Try tomorrow. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I don't, I don't have those kind of clothes. And it's not even like, it's not even about the clothes sometimes. Sometimes it's about the color. Okay. Like, I have a lot of like, yes, brightly, yeah, like yeah, yeah. bright colors because I know that it like, it makes me look really good. It pops on my skin tone, like, and it fits my personality. Like, that's who I am. Got you, got you. Yeah, so, I, like, I like bright colors too. Yeah, so I like it's that like, too. I know that today I can't pull off this rose blush v-neck. Rose I'm not, blush I'm not feeling rose blush today. I'm feeling black. Streamline, all black, dressed in all black like an omen. Lil' Kim, okay? Mm. Oh, so get like, him. like, Dropping Lil' Kim lines. I so like it's it. like, that's how I'm feeling today. I'm feeling all black. I'm not feeling rose blush. So it's like, it's all about that confidence when you wake up in the morning. Gosh. Um, and your posture. That's it. Like, once you have, once you have gotten over the hurdle of finding clothes that fit you and fit you well, the only other thing you have to worry about is your posture and your clothes confidence. So one more thing before the fit and fit well. How do I, and I hear this all the time, like, I've dated girls, I know, like, friends who are like, yo, I've seen that thing in your closet for six, seven months. Mm -hmm. Why haven't you ever worn it? Well, it looks so much better on me in the store. So how do we avoid the store? Because I, I haven't really, I mean, I buy, like, v-necks and, like, t-shirts. It's not, like, dresses and, like, you know, crazy yeah. stuff. Like, how do we avoid that? Yeah. The store mirror. It's almost like the gym mirror thing. Cause I, I feel like I'm the gym, jacked in the, the gym. The gym mirror is a real thing. And then like... So the store mirror, I'm convinced it has to be a real thing. Okay. Because you go into certain stores, the mirrors are slimmer than the ones that you have at home. And the lighting is completely different. Uh. So what I suggest you do is when you... First of all, whenever you go clothes shopping, you should always be trying the clothes on. So always try to clothes on. Always. Like, always, always, always try the clothes on. Every time. Okay. <laughs> always try the clothes on every time, Joe. Yeah. Every time. I'm not going to do it. So, you should always try the clothes on, and you should always step outside of the dressing room area. Got So go check on the mirrors on, and the floor. The mirrors on Makes the sense. floor. Makes because sense. Because those lights are going to be brighter than the ones that are So you're telling room. me that dressing rooms are IG filters? It's a built-in IG filter. Like... It's a built-in IG filter. Ladies, fellas, watch out for the built-in IG filter. And don't be afraid, like, another thing, don't be afraid if you get something home to take it back. Mm. Like, I, I'm not afraid at all to take some stuff back. We know you're not afraid. <laughs> like, 
But like, don't fit. Take it back. A lot of people, what I've noticed is a lot of people are uh, complacent in taking like whatever is given to them in life I get what in you're general. Saying. Oh wow. So it's like you have to say what you mean and mean what you say. Like if you don't want it, you don't want if it. You don't, if you don't want it, you don't want it. Take it back. The the worst thing that could happen is they say no and give you a store credit. They should just do better next time. Just do better next time. Give me something I like. That's it. Done deal. Okay. No worries. So, Ray, we've taken up enough of your time. Yes, I sir. really, really appreciate it. This, I mean, again, this is one of my, this is one of my fellows. Like, this is a dude who's, I mean, I've known him for a short period of time. I guess in reality, a short we period bonded. of time. But like, this, this is one of those dudes, man. Right. So, yeah. uh, I really, really do appreciate you coming, taking your time to really do it. Yeah. Um, before you leave, though. Absolutely. Right. Before you leave, what's one thing? It could be about clothes. It could be about really anything um, that you would want to impart on them about instilling that self-efficacy now yeah. as opposed to waiting because like that, that that to me it's just not that it's wild I get it and I understand where that comes from but like instead of waiting to feel good about yourself yeah. when you get there right enjoy the journey and understand that you're progressing but how do they feel or what's a way that you think might help them feel better now about what's going on yeah. and how and, and their process as opposed to waiting to build confidence or yeah. to have confidence when they get there. Absolutely. So I'm going to say something that um, we talked about the last time we got together. Okay. All right. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. And I think it's going to be a perfect way to end it. Like, it's going to be a perfect way to end the video. Mm. So I'm going to draw near to the camera. Oh, we're going to get near. Let me we're get the mic near to him. We're going to come in. Okay. And it's going to be... Okay. It. Everybody's on this journey. Okay. Like, everybody's on their individual fitness journey. Okay. The goal is ever-changing. Like, what happens is you get to a goal, it changes, you want to look this way. Okay. You get to that goal, it changes, you want to look this way. I definitely understand that. So it's that. like, the goal is ever-changing. It's almost like the carrot. It's like exactly. the carrot in front. Okay. So you can't really wait to get to your goal, because once you get that goal, it's going to change anyway. So Seriously. you have to do it today. That's the first part. That's number one. The second part is something that's really big. Social media is really big right now. He just told me I couldn't use my phone for this entire video. And yes. I thought my head was he, going to It was so. exploded. Like, yo, put your phone away. If you could right see now. my face, I was like, what do you mean? I don't, under I don't understand. But it's something that's so attached to us right now. True. It's so oh, my goodness. Like, I, I'm going to have a ton of emails. I'm so pissed that things. I wasn't able to comment on someone who commented it. Exactly. Just so I can show them that, like, yo, like, I appreciate love, you I taking that time. Exactly. Like, Wait for that truck to go back. So, um, social media is something that's very prevalent in our lives right 100%. now. 100%. We follow, if you're in the into fitness, you follow a lot of fitness people. I'm into fashion. I follow a lot of fashion people. Mm. They're doing glamorous things. We curate our content to put out as our brand. True. Right? Yeah. Shout out to True Word Extension. Listen. At one true word. <laughs> one underscore true word. Shameless <clears throat> plug. But my you, you cannot live your everyday life based on someone's curated content. I got, oh, oh, yeah. What you're seeing from someone that you follow is something that they have curated. That's true. Oh, yeah. Especially for that page. Yes, yes. So no one's ever going to post their worst moment for someone to follow. Sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sometimes yeah, yeah. they will. I get what you're saying. But no one's ever going to post, like an actual post, about something that is not polished in mm. some form or fashion. Not get it. So you can't allow yourself to scroll through your feed and be like, man, I wish I looked like that. Man, I wish I did X, Y, and Z. Man, I wish I could go on this vacation. I wish I could do... And we just talked like, about like filters and stuff like... I mean, there's, there's people so many photoshopping things. and stuff Facetune, like... Facetune, like... Mm. Like, you can't allow something that is curated to dictate your everyday life. And I, I mean, that, that's that's huge. One, I mean, that's... Hit that, right? Like, but, um... And that's just in general. Like, you're you. They're them. They could have started in a different place. They could be on a different journey. Exactly. They could have different. I mean, everyone's in a different place. Everything's you have to worry about different. yourself and then what you're doing. And man, that's huge. I like that. That's yeah. really, really dope. So just honestly, just pay attention to what you're doing just and your goal and your dream and your mission and your purpose. Listen, mind your business. Mind your business. Moisturize. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, that was it. Yo, we're done. I, I, I don't even want to say anything else because that he just. He just dropped Mamba out. <laughs>
<laughs> Mamba out, Ray. Thank you so much, man. Of course. I really, really appreciate it. <laughs> Mamba out. Listen. Well, okay, so, so real quick, I'm, I'm going to put it everywhere, but where can they find you? Listen, on Instagram, you can find me, Raymond, R-A-Y-M-O-N-D, period, Lamar, L-A-M-A-R. Right there. Right and, there. And that's it? That's it. You know. Just check them. You know Snapchat's for me. Snapchat's Snap, I love like, Snap. Okay. You love Snap. Snap's for me and my so they, like, they can find me on IG. my circle, but you can find me on IG. You can also find me on Facebook, Styles by Ray. YouTube's coming back in 2018 in a very big way. Got some mm. things playing for that. Yes. Check me out, Styles by Ray TV. Done. Done. Appreciate it. I really appreciate Ray coming out. I really appreciate you for listening, especially if you are watching, especially if you yeah. waited this long. Um, we hope to bring more content like this. If there's Absolutely. anything that you definitely want to see, Drop it below, let us know, and we'll try and get it done for you. As always, be well. Yo, that was dope. That, was, I, that might have been way better than the first one. Yeah. What, ten times? Ten times. Ten times better. So much better. Oh, by the way, before, I, I, I'm just, <laughs> what was this thing? Cut back in. Medicine ball. Medicine ball. What, what was it actually? The name, actually you can go to any Starbucks and say, and say medicine, medicine ball. ball. What, what's know. in it? But if you're on the mobile, like, mobile app, medicine ball is not going to be there. It is a citrus, honey citrus mint tea. This thing was crazy. This thing so was good. super good. So good. Super, super good. Makes you feel real good.